So you might remember a few weeks ago, I did a review on the Rode 3 automatic tuner, and I didn't leave it very favorable remarks because it was having a lot of issues. Well, Rode actually reached out to me after seeing my video and saying, hey, something's not right, so let's talk. So I started emailing back and forth with Rode, and for the last three weeks, we've been testing some things out to try and fix some issues. The first issue, you might remember, I could not get this to sync to my app on my phone. We did find out that there was a glitch that was preventing LG uh, cell phones from connecting through Bluetooth. That's since been fixed in the new rollout. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, that it's connecting to the app now. So here we are, we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna turn the roadie on. There we go. Make sure my Bluetooth is on my phone, it is. Powered on the app. I think you can see it. Um, it says it's disconnected. Oh, there we go, syncing. It says it's syncing on the app. Let's see if it happens. There we go. Now we're in sync. A little music joke there. So you can see the app issues have been resolved. So the second issue that you may remember that I was having, uh, the C-sharp standard tuning wasn't working. We did find out that the tuner was programmed wrong uh, as far as C-sharp. It was low C-sharp, should be C-sharp 2, and it was C-sharp 1, so that's now been corrected. So let's see if we can tune to C-sharp tuning. This thing is not in tune purposely. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So let's see how fast this takes. So there we went from basically out of tune standard down to C-sharp standard. And it's kind of close, but we've moved a lot. So usually you got to tune twice if you're changing, you know, three half steps. The other issue that I brought up with Rody is when this tunes down, it will tune down and then stop, which everybody knows you're supposed to tune from lower to higher, uh, regardless of the instrument. So you should come from below the note and up. And this tuner does not do that. Now, I have talked to Rody about it, and they said that that's something that is on the horizon in the next few weeks, they're testing out it out to make sure that it functions. Um, that's a lot better. So to move that far, you're gonna have to tune twice. So we went basically from E standard down to C sharp standard, so I could play devil music. So let's see how fast it will tune back up. Now, I usually play an E flat or half step down, uh, so we're going to try and take it up from here. Thank uh -huh. 
So we're having a problem there with our G string. Nothing worse than a problem with your G string. Uh, but it wasn't picking up the note because it was so much lower. And that's, that's kind of a bummer. But it's pretty close to removing a whole step. Again, you'll probably have to do it twice to really get it right. So much is moving there. Still having some issues with finding the pitch for some reason. But that time we're in tune. It's still moving a little slow for what I would hope to be using. And right now I've got it uh, not set to accurate, so it should be tuning faster. Um, the other issue I was having, and we thought maybe that was why I was fumbling up here so much. Uh, all my guitars have ratio tuners on them, uh, so each is its own ratio based on the string that it's on. And we thought maybe that was causing some of the issues with the tuning. And they told me I had to make a custom instrument in the app, and then it would actually learn the ratio of the tuners the first time it would tune up. But it still seems like we're really struggling uh, to move between tunings uh, if it's close um, if, if you're close to half step down or if you're close to standard it seems to tune fairly quickly there's a lot of fumbling here so it was going up and down and up and down so I'm not sure what's up with that and maybe that's something that I can work with Rodi on a little more uh, to see if we can figure out what's going on so is it better yeah it's a lot better than it was a few weeks ago um, so if you've got an LG series phone like I do, you're going to need to update the firmware because there was a glitch for LG cell phones. That's been fixed, so now I can use the app. That's great. The C-Sharp tuning has been fixed, so that's great. So that just leaves the tune up feature that I'm looking for uh, to you know really lock that tuning key in uh, when you're tuning. Because if you tune down, you always want to go back up from underneath the note. Otherwise, when you bend the string, the key isn't locked because it's not turning the opposite direction. As soon as you bend that string, it's out of tune. So I've still got that issue, but they are assuring me that that fix is coming. It still seems like it's struggling finding notes, going from a distant key to a distant key. Uh, I was down in C sharp, I wanted to go to E flat. For whatever reason, it couldn't pick up the vibration of the G string. Uh, so hopefully that's something else we need to work on a little bit. Um, I, I think it's better, much better. And I think this will help me out at my gigs. And I'm definitely looking forward to working with Rody uh, to continue improving this product. Because it's a really cool idea and this will be a great tool for musicians out at their gigs. Um, so thanks for watching what the doctor ordered. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit like and subscribe below so you can let the YouTube overlords know you want to see my next video. And until then, keep rocking.